can make that two cups of coffee, I think I need maximum fortitude this morning. Jake, we have a flag on the play that we planned. It's Scudder's day off. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to pay Nick a visit at home. It's a fantastic idea. Except it won't work. Why is that? They don't allow visitors under the rock in which he lives? If we go visit Nick and we have a little talk with him, he's gonna run right to Abigail and tell her that her right. vigilante parents are on a rampage and then she's gonna not... He, she's gonna cut us out of her she life and I can't take She trusts us enough chance. to have breakfast with us this morning, right? And she's gonna risk going to class and running into Adam. Uh, Adam! Adam! What's going on? Um, I was... Uh, I was trying to... Yeah, well, I think it's a really bad time to just run into Abigail right now. Yeah, you know, I, I know I'm the last person in the world she wants to see, but... Uh, forget it. Wait a minute before you go to class. No. Good, good. Why don't you step into my office? I'll be gentle. Level high intensity meeting going on in there. So what are you doing here? I need to edit my video. But you did, and you won an award for it. Right, but the professor is submitting it to a new contest. I need to shave some time off of it. Honey, I'm so proud of you. That is the best news I've heard in days. It's just a submission. I haven't won anything yet. But this is the professor that doesn't give anybody compliments or praise, especially freshmen, right? Yes, it's the same. Great. So tell me about it over lunch. Well, there's nothing to tell. It's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal to me, so... Burgers at Al's, hmm? I need to see Nick. It's his day off. Oh, well then, looks like I won't get any work done then. Well, you can edit at school, right? And run into Adam? I don't ever want, want to see his face again. I, I don't want to... I don't want to see him. I don't want to hear his name. And, and please don't tell me to calm down or cut him any slack, Did I right? say that? I did not say that, okay? okay? Just calm down and catch your breath. And when you're ready, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Does she want me dead? Mm. Abigail or Molly? Well, that pretty much answers my question. Yeah. Look, my advice to you is to give her some time, as much time as she needs, and don't try any stupid guy rationale. Yeah, I'm prepared to give her as much space as she needs. Good. Have you ever wanted to go back in time and erase the dumbest mistake you've ever made? They don't make a big enough eraser for me. So I guess I'll just stay out of her way. You lied to me? Again? When is this gonna stop? I can't believe you did this. Abigail, we didn't know that Adam was gonna come down to the station. He and Jake were having a private conversation in there and you knew, didn't you? Well, uh, just give me a straight answer. Did you or did you not know that they were talking about me? The only reason that I didn't stop tell it, you was... Stop it, just stop it. Well, let me handle this. Jake, you know, I don't really want to hear anything you have to say right now. What are you doing here, Adam? Are you trying to win points with my parents? Because you know what? It's not going to work. They don't run my life. I do. No, no. I came here to see you. Do you think that I'd want to see you? Do you think that I would want anything to do with you? If you just listen to what I had to say... I've had enough lies for a lifetime, believe me. I wrote you a note. Maybe it'll... I'll be around if you want to talk, okay? Thanks for the warning. Abigail, you know, I gotta go. No, you're not going anywhere. Not until we talk this out. Are you people? 
You swear that you're on my side. You wipe my tears. You tell me everything's going to be okay. And then you lie to my face. You took his side. How could you possibly think that? How could I think anything else? Adam sleeps with a girl he hardly even knows. And do you care about how I feel? No. You have a heart to heart with him. And you don't even think about how that might affect me. Honey, I know that you're really, really angry at Adam right now, and rightfully so. That's what I was, I was trying to save you the pain of seeing him. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to help you. You were trying to manage my life. You were trying to decide what's best for me. But you don't have a clue, Molly. You can't protect someone by lying to them. You only make things ten times worse. You know? I know. I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Are you sorry for forgiving Adam for breaking my heart? Are you sorry for treating Nick like he's the monster when he is the only one who has not hurt me? We need to talk no. about that. You know what? I don't want to be lied to again. Thanks anyway. Honey, if you just calm you know, down... Just stop need it! To talk just stay out of my life! Just stay out of it. Abigail! Abigail! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go no. talk to her. No! Don't! Because anything we say, everything we say, everything Can't. we do is going to drive her closer to Nick, Jay. Just let her walk out like that. If she can't talk to us right now, maybe she can talk to her father. Knock, knock. Mind if we come in? No, no. Come on in. Yeah, you spare a couple minutes to talk there. Sure. Sounds serious. Yeah, it is. And it's about Abigail. Do you remember the guy that I went to prison for all those years ago? Yeah, Nick Scudder. Some things you just don't forget. He moved to Oakdale. And now he's moving in on our daughter. 